Hi, I'm Avi. And I'm V. Join us in our explorations of the central coast of California. And our adventures beyond. Hi, everybody. What's up? We are here at Natural Bridges State Park in Santa Cruz. It's one of the few winter nesting grounds of the monarch butterflies here on the Central Coast. And we're lucky enough to have it right in our backyard. Monarchs are a really interesting species. They migrate between Mexico and Canada, which is the longest known migration in the insect world. There's a boardwalk that takes you down to the grove where they winter. Uh, a bunch of signs along the way that give you a little information about them. It's a really cool thing to do, really fun, unique experience that you can have here in the Central Coast. I've always enjoyed coming to Natural Bridges State Park. It's named for these natural rock bridges. There used to be more, but over time they've collapsed. There's only one left, but... Yeah, technically it's, its name should be Natural... There is no bridge either. Right, so it's there's Natural just, Arch. There's Arch. But, <laughs> El Arco. It wasn't, it was not that long ago, that it, I think it was in the 70s that the bridge collapsed. You used to be able to walk out. And see them conjoined. Yeah, yeah. but not anymore. But yeah, that's his namesake. And there's lots to do around here besides just check that out. There's tide pools. There's uh, picnic areas. Hiking trails. Towards the beach. The beach. The monarch trail. There's a marsh. There's lots of birds that you see. So well. yeah, there's a lot of natural wildlife. You never know what you're going to run into. So come along with us. We're looking forward to checking this out. Let's hope there's some uh, butterflies. Let's go. Let's do it. The entrance to the Monarch Trail is located in the upper parking lot directly across from the visitor center. Here you'll find plenty of information about the park and its wildlife, as well as EV charging stations and even beach wheelchairs. You can use the park's main entrance and pay the day use fee to park, or you can park along Delaware Avenue for free and walk through the park's back entrance like we usually do. After you, babe. Monarchs typically start to arrive here in mid-October. They choose this grove for several reasons. It's located in a tree-filled canyon, which protects the butterflies from heavy winds and freezing temperatures. The canopy filters the sunlight just the right amount, allowing enough light in to keep them warm, but also keeps the sun's rays from getting too intense for them. Finally, the eucalyptus trees flower in the winter, providing the butterflies with a reliable source of pollen while the nearby marsh provides plenty of fresh water. They stay here for three to four months, leaving the area by late January to early February to continue their journey south. Monarchs can't fly when the temperature falls below 55 degrees Fahrenheit. They bunch together on the branches to keep warm. They can be difficult to see at first as they look similar to the leaves, but the volunteers on site are happy to help point them out. And once you see them, you'll realize they're all over the place. If you want to see them flying around more, make sure to come on a warm, sunny day closer to noon, when the sun is higher in the sky. We were there around four, and though it was well into the upper 60s, the sun was lower, so the rays weren't making their way through the canopy, and many of the butterflies had already settled into their clusters for the night. No matter what time you come, seeing so many butterflies in one place is really cool, and we recommend checking this place out. Unfortunately, the monarch's numbers are in a state of massive decline, like much of the insect world. Just a decade ago, officials would count hundreds of thousands of them every year statewide. In 2018, 
that number had plummeted to only 25,000. Last year's numbers were very discouraging, as they only counted 550 here at Natural Bridges and less than 2,000 in all of California. Thankfully, this year is better, with over 2,000 butterflies here alone. But, as locals who have been coming here for decades, we can attest to the undeniable fact that there were nowhere near as many as there used to be. These beautiful creatures are facing many threats from habitat destruction and increased heat waves to invasive species and pesticides. There's been an effort across the state to help them by planting native milkweed, which is the only source of food for their caterpillars, and to discourage the use of pesticides. It's also critically important that groves like these and their surrounding areas are protected from development. Removing even one tree can compromise the windbreak or the frost protection that the monarchs need, making an entire habitat inhospitable for them. The Department of Fish and Wildlife has determined that monarchs qualify for protection under the Endangered Species Act, but unfortunately, they won't actually gain protected status until 2024. In the meantime, if you would like to help these amazing species, you can buy organic fruits and vegetables and don't use pesticides in your garden, especially if you live along one of their migration routes. You can also plant native milkweed and donate to one of the many nonprofits dedicated to helping conserve these butterflies. We'll link below to some of our favorites. Next, we decided to go check out the tide pools. We headed back to the top of the trail, turned towards the left, and headed towards the ocean. It's a straight shot through the picnic area, where there's lots of picnic tables and barbecues, available on a first-come, first-served basis. There's plenty of parking and shade, and a great view of the ocean. We made our way down onto the beach, crossed the sand, and headed toward the rocks located on the right side of the beach. Even in mid-November, it's warm enough here in Santa Cruz for people to be out in shorts and t-shirts, enjoying the beach and splashing in the water. Brown pelicans are still hanging around the area. They'll also head south to the warmer climates in the coming weeks as the weather cools. The tide pools are accessible year-round though you'll definitely want to be more cautious at high tide. Waves can easily break over the cliffs, and this area is known for its powerful rip currents. Just in the last few months alone, three people have lost their lives along the coastline of this county. Don't go out onto the rocks alone, stay away from the edge, and never turn your back on the ocean. Have fun, but stay safe. So we're out here in the uh, tide pool section of the Natural Bridges Beach. When you come to Natural Bridges and you go down on the beach, if you go towards the west end of the beach, that's where the rocks, where all the tide pools are. And that's where we are right now. There's a lot of mussels, anemones, sometimes you'll see little crabs. Not those mussels. Sometimes you'll see little crabs. Um, other things too, snails, you see snails all the time. Right. Um, yeah, you definitely want to be careful though. The rocks are slippery. Wear non-slip shoes yeah. for sure when coming Good out foot here. Good apparel. Navigate your way through all this. Yeah. So let's go check it out and see what we can find. you have to either climb or kind of hop a crevice. So it's not hard, but be careful. Not too bad. Not too bad.
Natural Bridges has long been a popular and famous surf break, and you'll find intrepid surfers paddling out no matter what time of year it is. Oh, here's a big one right here. Hello. Up, but they're obviously big. Uh, I can see there's yeah. some open ones over there. Right, the very edge. Yeah. It's hard to get to because the muscle feel gets pretty thin. not going to do what that guy just did. We've already slipped once today off camera, so it's all good. So this is where most people stop because it's really hard to get across this crevice. Really only surfers and uh, hardcore photographers venture beyond this point. That guy climbs up. <laughs> oh, he's almost up. Uh oh. <laughs> I think we're going to end the video here. Yeah, call it a day. So thanks so much for coming along and thanks for watching. Watching and uh, click a like and a subscribe. Please help our channel to grow. We hope you enjoyed checking out all the wildlife here at Natural Bridges. Yeah, hit that notification bell and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ciao for now.